Think it'd be possible for you to smile at the same time as you're standing there? Yes. Fire? Huh? Think so? Yes. All right, here we go. Wouldn't you like to know why I took that picture of you? Sure. I'm not going to tell you. Because I have another challenge for you. On this table uh, is an example of the fourth dimension, and I want you to try to find it. Okay. Well, there's the ruler, the mm. piece of string, the notebook, mm -hmm. the map of North America, mm -hmm. a measuring glass, um, sugar cubes, a box of them, a uh, toy fridge, mm -hmm. and I guess a record player. So where's the fourth dimension, or example of it at least? Um, I don't know. Well, let's start with one dimension. You can, here is an example of a one-dimensional object. Even though a ruler has three dimensions, yeah. we only use it to measure one dimension, which is usually what? The length. Dimension. The length, right. Yeah. Okay. So then here is another example. It's a string. Right. And we usually only think of it in one dimension, although it obviously has more than that. Yeah. So now you get the idea. That's one dimension. What's, add one, what do you got? Two dimensions. Two. Okay. Well, the notebook, you, the length times the width. Right. And then, so that's the second dimension, right. two. Right. And? Well, the same with the mat. Mm -hmm. The length times the width, and then it's another example of two dimensions. Well, the, and th there's another two-dimensional aspect of a map, too. They have longitude and latitude yeah. you know, in order to find your way. And a street map happens the same thing, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. So after two dimension comes? Three dimensions. Well, I guess the measuring class, like yeah. for volume. For volume, right. Yeah. And? A sugar cube. A cube. That's one of the reasons I put it here, because a cube has three dimensions, which are? Um, the length times the width times, times the height. height. Right? So does the whole box. Yeah. So very often you buy things now because of their volume, you know, mm -hmm. like peck and quart and so forth, and, and meters, you know, cubic meters and so forth. Refrigerator, how do your parents buy a refrigerator? Mm, obviously by the volume. Yeah, by the volume, right. How and the bigger it is, why the more it costs, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's left? Um, this. Record player. Well, here I'll give you a clue. You should be able to recognize. The only thing I can recognize... Wait, what? Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, what? What? Well, the only thing I can recognize, recognize from it is that it's playing faster than it should. Yeah, it's going too fast. That doesn't give you a clue? Hmm. Okay. Now, remember I took a picture of you when you came in? Yes. Okay. Which one is you? How'd you get my baby picture? Yeah, I got it from your mother. I told her we needed it for a scientific experiment. Any difference between the two? Yeah, well, our hair. You have more hair, right? Yeah, a lot more Clothes hair. are different. The clothes. But when were the pictures taken? Well, that one, obviously, a while ago. And yes. This and one, this one a short while. So you notice how people put the date on the bottom of pictures? Why do they do that? To, to tell when you took the yes. picture. And so what is that fourth dimension? Time. Time, right. Now, you can see why I played these at a different speed? Yeah, at the That was the difference. Right. In fact, refrigerators even, and various other uh, items in everyday life, time is important. You can buy a real old-fashioned re refrigerator, right? Yeah. So they say in the ad 19, you know, such and such model. Yeah. Well, you've done very well. Would you like an apple? You like apples? Yes. All right. Here you are. I'm not going to eat that. Why not? Well, it just happens to be rotten. It's an old. Why do you suppose I offered you a rotten apple? to show me the time difference from a new apple right, to an old right. apple. So you buy fruit and vegetables, don't you, based on how fresh they are. Yeah. So time is important. Mm -hmm. Well, I've actually got a real apple because you were very good at finally recognized, what is the fourth dimension? Time. Have an apple. Thank you. <laughs>